hello guys welcome back uh, in the last video we have created a purchase form and in the last video we have discussed uh, we have created this form for example provider number invoice number and we can choose the date and from here we can add the price and quantity up to here we have done in the last video so we have added this plus icon so that if the provider is new the user shouldn't the user must uh, not go to providers and first add the provider from here and then we add the purchase so to make it easy we we are planning to create a direct access or they can directly create the provider from here one for provider and second thing is for the product so let's go to our code and I think this is purchase resource. Okay, let me go to purchase resource here. And okay, here we have left it like this in the last video. Uh, the create option form. If I remove this, this is the method that will help us to add the new action, new form. So what we will do? So in this we are creating a provider. So simple we uh, i think it asks for a array so we will return an array of form fields right for example forms components text entries make uh, test just for test let's sorry okay let's check it okay that's it so it works so now what we will need we need the provider form right provider resource okay we have extend the customer resource if you have watched the last video you may know it and here is our the form this is the form for which we are creating the resource so now if i will copy it and let me just paste it here see the form is now here right but i don't like it because our coding principle says that do not repeat yourself so the form is same in future if we need extra things in provider here for example i need any any extra field here so now I, what i need to do i need to add the field here and again i need to go to purchase and again i need to add the form field in this area so to not repeat what we will do is so let me just control z this okay let me go to i think we have a customer resource right i will just uh, i think this is all our sections okay let me just remove this and i will create a new function here uh, public static function get uh, okay customer form schema s e l g m a so i will return a okay it's so shift okay i will return the array so now what i will do is now i here i just call that because schema is it also need an array so now what i can do is self is to is to self means custom resource and since is the static function what is our name of function get customer form schema right get is customer form schema that's it now if i go to providers i think there is no changes right everything is it's same same on customers because this is our same form so now now inside purchases now what i will do i will just call this function where in our provider form so now return array right array will be written automatically from there so what i will do customer resource get customer form schema that's it if i will now go to there and see now what is the advantage of this for example let me say okay i need the remarks filled in all resources customers and providers right so before it 
uh, customer and provider already use the same form so but now if i want to use there what i will do is just go to customer resource and just i can let me just duplicate it and now let me add remark sorry remark -E and R -E -M -A -R -K remarks right so now if i refresh it see remarks is here remarks is here and not only there remarks should be also here perfect that is what i want so now you may thinking if we need to hide or or do any complex form for example the i need email in some form components and i don't need in some form component you can control it easily through you can pass the parameter as you need and you can use that so in this video we don't need it so if in case in future if that was that will be the case i will surely show you okay let us go to our there so now i think the form is ready and nothing we have to do is because the form is already from the provider so it will all directly understand that it needs to create a provider so currently we have two providers so let me go and add one from here let's try it so now uh, from purchase resource so this is my name okay from at the red uh, let's say mailinator.com contact will be one two three four five six seven eight and let's say and let me try to create it okay so now i got an error it is saying field tenant id does not have a default value so now there is no tenant here right and in every form we need a tenant because this provider depends on this particular tenant right so what we can do is we can create a now let me just uh, okay create a new form components okay text input is to make let me say tenant id right level underscore tenant i'm just trying to show you for now let me just remove this and let me just make it an array and return perfect we will go back through this just for now for testing how we can get the tenant id sorry in climbing right okay refresh now we have a form so there is one helper function that will get us the current filament tenant so if i will so what i can use i can use the default value right filament get tenant okay it is not filament okay okay filament this is the helper function that will return the current tenant so if you want to see it let me just dd this okay so now you can see the current tenant which is my tenant and you can see my tenant let us me go to current tenant purchase new purchase and plus now the data should be of current tenant perfect so what we will need here is the id of that tenant so what we can do filament let me just it's id okay let refresh it perfect now we have the id but i think we don't want the user to show it so what we can do is we can make it hidden field perfect so now the form will be hidden it's hidden so now but we need this also so what can we do is we can return array merge because this is also an array or either we can push it or i can merge it so i can say mm, dollar tenant t e and anti tenant form sorry f o r m right tenant field that's a tenant field array and this so now we can merge the array so the first array will be customer so oh, sorry okay the first array will be this and the second will be array will be our tenant field that's it so for now to check it it's it is there or not i will just make it 
text input okay okay this is here at the last so if you want it at the first you can use this tenant id field as first and this is the second but since it's a hidden field i don't think there is any issue for this that's it this is what we need to need to do so let me refresh this now i want to create a new resource okay from purchase resource email is okay at the rate mailinator.com contact one two three five six this is our okay address test and this is an empty field let me create it that's it now if i say i got the from purchase resource and if i go to providers here also i can see from purchase resource so now the main advantage of this is now the user don't need to create the provider first here for any new purchase invoice and then come back to purchase and then again select these things okay so let us quickly perform the same action for product mm, i think this is our product so what we will do again same thing we will return and now for product also we we'll just go to product resource and we will get its form right so what we can do here is instead of this product resource is just to get get sorry to form now if now for this we need to pass form form parameters so instead of that what i feel is is just duplicate this create new function static static function get product form that's return just let us return it that's it now it will return the array of one section now we need to use this get product form here instead of array self is just to get product form and same thing will be used here product resources to get product form that's it okay there is some issues now mm. okay the issue is due to the relationship because the relationship is with product so instead of this what we can do is we can just list the user block name id to array that's it we can manually give the options right instead of relation what we'll do options unit is just to block name id to array just we are what we are doing is we are using the categories name and id as an array and its unit id as a name as array and it will be as a option so where the value will be this and the label will be this perfect and also we can add the sortable field here if there are multiple rows then multiple more than 100 of records or more than 10 of records it will be easier for them to sort okay let's quickly now see the, everything is perfect kilogram and everything is done right so after that now i think same is the case here also now if i try to add the product a and let's say code one two one two hardwares kilograms price random quantity random safety and stock random great selected field data dot product something dot product i must have a great option using closer set this is a new error uh -huh. options create options and return product resource get product form first let us add tenant also so let me just copy this one right here i will use 
product resource get product from why well, i have done this i have to use tenant also but i don't let us check it once again test product for something hardware skill grants something 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 great uh, selected select field data dot product thus this must have a create option using close or set create option form okay sorry my mistake the mistake is uh, we are not working directly with the relation here so if you remember in the previous one I have used the relation provider name so it was working it knew that it is the product but now for this I have used just options so it does not know any oh it's a relation so it's a product model so that's the case so I think we have a if I go to purchase we have a product relation so what I can do is instead of this I can surely use relationship which is our products and products will have name right now it should work test okay code is random hardware kilograms okay two three four quantity 23 minimum stock let me create it okay app models purchase product add name to fillable product to allow okay it is looking for purchase product okay what we'll do is there is another idea we have create option using method so what does this do is we can customize the creation process by ourselves if we go to flament uh, create option using method so here we will sorry where is that here we will get the array of data right here we will get the array sorry array of data the data means the form fields and now we can create the product here product is to, to create dollar data so i think this must work if i go to this something something uh, hardware units price is 23 quantity to go nothing else okay safety stock cannot be null okay we have made is non nullable and now we have made it not a required it is not a required field so so now this is the case see now this issue is in every three types of field now i can solve it from a single place so that's the advantage okay product product a code is something hardware's units price is this quantity to build safety stock is now required now if i try to create that's it but i can't see the product here if i go to product product a is already here if i go back here okay it's here I need to search it. Let me check again. Let's say product B, PB, hardware's unit ID, price is 100, quantity is 23, safety stock is 3. Great. Now, product B is still not there. Why? Because after we created the record, I think we need to return it. See. Okay, so that means. Uh, if I go to purchase resource, I created the data, the product, product, and now I need to return that its ID, which is a unique field. Perfect. Now if I refresh it, okay, let's see product C C A one two three category ID is hardware, kilogram price is twelve, quantity is twenty three, safety stock twelve. Now if I close it perfect now it is selected by default too this is what we want right now i can say 20 20 that's it so this is for this video it was the short video